Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will explore and understand the Postman user interface. So let's begin. In our last session, we downloaded and installed the Postman. So I'm opening the Postman. So if you haven't downloaded and installed the Postman, just watched our previous video on that. So this is the interface of the Postman. We will cover each and every aspect of this user interface. On the top left corner, we have a menu options. We have file options, added options, view options, and help links. Under that, we on the left side, we have a history option where you can see the history of your API request. You can create the collection. You can create the API, but for that, you need to sign in. If you go to the history tab again, if you want to save the responses, just click on that. In the center of the screen, we have a quick shortcut options to start with. Also, we have some options to customize the Postman. I prefer to work on the dark mode, so I will click on that. On the right side, you can find some resources and also some events. If you want to enroll for some events, you can see upcoming events. You can register for them. You find some useful resources here. Also, you can discover some public APIs and templates in this section. This whole area is known as a launchpad. So if you want launchpad on every time when you open the postman, just enable the launchpad from here. If your APIs are deployed on the multiple servers, for instance, QA, staging, pre-prod, then you can define different environments here. If you want to see what environments you have defined, just click on this icon. Or if you want to manage your environment, just click on that. On the top center, you can see the options for my workspace and invite. So if you want to work with your team members, you just create a workspace and invite your team members so that they can work and collaborate with you on the APIs. So if you want to work with your team, you need to sign in before you can create a workspace. From right top corner, you can sign into the postman. You can also get the latest updates from this link. You can have a notification in this tab. You can also do some settings on the postman. Just click on that. You can click on the settings and there are a lot of setting options you can set as per your requirement. Also, if you want to have cookies and proxy settings in your APIs, you can set the cookies and the proxy from this area. If you want to sync your data, just click on this one. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. See you in the next lecture.